Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve a problem on number patterns. All right, so the question is, what are the missing numbers in the number pattern below? Now we have the numbers 2,230, 2,330, 2,430, and then two blanks, and then the last one, that's 2,730. So we have to find out what goes in the two missing blanks. All right, so how do we solve it? Well, let's find out if there is a pattern in the numbers given to us first, okay? So we get our place value chart with the ones and the tens and the hundreds and the thousands, and we start placing the numbers that are given to us, okay? So the first number is 2,230, and that goes there in the chart with two thousands, two hundreds, three tens, and zero ones. Okay, move on to the next number, which is two three three zero so two in the thousands three in the hundreds three in the tens and zero for the ones now let's compare these two numbers and see what's changing okay so let's look at the digits uh, going from uh, the ones to the thousands okay so in the ones there is no change both are zero in the tens there's no change both are three in the hundreds we see that the 2 becomes 3. So there's a difference of 100 between the two numbers. And in the thousands, again, there is no change. So what do we see here? Well, what we see here is to get to the second number, we have to add 100 to the first number. Well, let's see if that's really the case in all the numbers that are given to us. Okay. So we compare the second and the third now. So the third number is 2430. Again, between the second and the third, no difference in the ones, no difference in the tens. There's a difference of one in the hundreds, and there is no difference of change in the thousands. So again, what we see here is in going from the second number to the third number, the number increases by 100. All right, so we have found a rule here, and that is that to get the next number, add 100 to the previous number. So that will help us to get the two blanks, the two missing numbers. So from 2430, okay, how do we get the first missing number? Well, we simply add 100, right, to it. So no difference in the ones and the tens. Then the hundreds becomes five. Okay, so we add one to four and we get five. And again, no difference in the thousands. So there you go, you get 2530 as the first missing number and the second missing number is also plus 100 more than the previous one. So that would be 2630, okay? The only digit that changes is the hundreds digit, okay? The hundreds place digit, the five, we add one to that and we get six. Rest, all the digits are the same. All right. So we've got the two missing numbers, but just to have one last check to make sure that we didn't miss anything, we must also check that the last number that's given to us, which is 2730, also follows the same rule. Okay, so let's just once check that indeed, if we added 100 to 2630, did we get 2730? Well, yeah, we do. So there you go, the missing numbers are 2530 and 2630 and that brings us to the end of this lesson for more questions like this and for worksheets visit my.homecampus.com.sg this is m signing off for now bye bye